Hi, this is Enoch Choi, live from Singapore, where I'm happy to be able to be telling you about MedHelp, a startup I joined recently. Um, I'm going to be asking someone, hopefully James, to forward through the slides as I uh, give you a rundown on what's going on over at MedHelp. I'm a family physician in Palo Alto. I actually am just across the tunnel. I practice about two blocks away from where you guys are right now, and I've had a lot of uh, fun with startups, my um, first startup I participated in was uh, Medicologic Medscape. Took that public in 1999 and uh, was able to raise $100 million and um, sell it after uh, two years to GE. Uh, since then, I've been in practice just around the corner at Palo Alto Medical Foundation. And uh, I recently joined MedHelp because I thought the uh, opportunity there was incredible to be able to help a lot of people uh, who have collected over the years there. I'm going to take quick looks at this slide, so I'm sorry for looking down. Um, next slide. So today I'm going to talk you, tell you about the background of MedHelp, um, talk about what's so exciting about it with um, our traffic profile, and reasons why you should be interested in this uh, Web 2.0 startup. Next slide. MedHelp was started in 1994 by Cindy and Phil. They're two folks uh, over on the East Coast who had sick uh, family members who were interested in finding a way on the web to have their answers uh, to their questions that they couldn't find. They went online and uh, they weren't able to get the depth of information that they were looking for with their uh, with their loved ones and so they wanted to f uh, start a place online where physicians could answer those questions that the patients were looking to, uh, for the answers of. Um, so they were looking to develop these communities of, of online uh, folks, of patients, also because they found that the patients could encourage and share their stories of people like them, people that had similar illnesses and tell their stories about their illnesses and encourage each other with their stories and find a lot of very useful information that was in greater depth and incredibly deep, um, very specific depth uh, to their level of illness at their stage of illness and the treatments that they were receiving help from. Um, the company's long-term focus allowed this company to survive through the Web 1.0 bubble and uh, is continuing to grow organically. It's something that has uh, been able to grow over the last 13 years just because of the interest of the people involved. Um, and this is, uh, because of their longevity, MedHelp has been able to show that they have a significant quality of content and the many medical groups have been willing to partner with MedHelp to provide content and have their physicians answer questions. Next slide. What's really exciting is that over the last 13 years, MedHelp has been able to gather almost more than uh, two and a half million visitors, unique visitors every every month, and over 15 million page views every month. It's a top level, top listed website on most of the search engines across many different medical topics, medical subjects, medical categories. It's the largest online forum our largest online collection of questions and answers by physicians and also the same online, the largest online collection of uh, communities of patients with the most active and the longest running archives of, of many, many different uh, medical communities. It's ranked among the top 10 uh, by Hitwise uh, among different medical websites and actually among the top, top few. Next slide. The reason why many groups are interested in partnering with MedHelp is um, they find that the quality of content is really great there. Partners there include the Cleveland Clinic, who um, provide a lot of the, the cardiology and the breast cancer uh, content. Uh, that they're world leaders in that, and people come from all over the world because of the answers that they read of physicians at MedHelp. And uh, they, they fly from Dubai or from from the Philippines or from Indonesia or from wherever and they, they come over because they can see the, the benefit of the of that those physicians are providing and come to trust in them by the content, the answers that they provide of the detail. Um, and they find that, well, these are patients like me. Partners Healthcare over in Boston, the Harvard group, uh, they are also providing answers to questions. Uh, Cornell's Wheel Institute the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and National Jewish, which is in Denver where I was born and my 
father was doing his uh, allergy fellowship and so I have a, a great affinity to them and I'm really excited that they're part. Um, these are just five of uh, a number of different partners and you can go to our website and see some of the other um, leading uh, medical groups that have chosen to partner with MedHelp. Next slide. So the reasons they par participate, you can see on the left hand side of this slide, are that the, the medical groups and, the, and even individual physicians, not just large groups as I've just mentioned, but individual physicians have come and they've decided that they would participate in the health forums, answering questions of patients, and also blogging because they find that, that for the groups it builds their corporate brand and for the individual physicians it also builds their personal practice brand. It's, uh, MedHelp's a place where we host their profiles, uh, contact information, links to their, to their websites, and that helps facilitate making appointments with them once the patient has read the content on our site and decides that that's something that they're interested in. It's a place where they can host their patient educational materials, and it's a place that they even find is a place of online dialogue for real-life events. For example, recently I did some public service uh, in local politics. The, the Palto mayor uh, had a taser task force, and I had a very active following in my blog about the taser um, medical research that I performed. One of our other bloggers, Pepper Schwartz, is a uh, professor of sociology up in University of Washington, and she'll be on the Today Show in a couple of weeks, and she's going to use her blog as a place for uh, people on NBC to come, uh, viewers to come and interact with her, and so I find sh many partners, many individuals are finding that this is a place where they can have an online presence in a trustworthy uh, place that can handle uh, a huge amount of traffic and uh, be robust enough to manage that. Um, on the right hand side you can see why patients uh, on the user generated media side are interested in, uh, in participating. Um, it's a place where they participate in the online uh, forums, uh, posting questions, posting comments about um, their own illness. They, they build the list of comments in these online archives and that helps build their online reputation, their personal reputation about their expertise about that medical topic. They uh, are also able to receive the benefit of having physicians answer the questions they post. Um, and it's a lot like why uh, many people participate in Wikipedia. They feel some sense of control. They're also um, giving, giving of themselves, uh, having, giving of some goodwill. Um, it's a benevolent kind of thing to be able to go on and, and share their story and share uh, the way that they've benefited or possibly not done so well. And uh, people have searched for that content and found it very valuable to find people like them. Um, one of the reasons why they do it, at, patients do it at MedHelp rather than other places, that they just find MedHelp. We have really significant penetration to search engines and really high rankings. So um, when they search for some someone like them that has commented on that, they oftentimes find a MedHelp post and they'll, they'll post at MedHelp. And um, when they do, they find that a lot of people will comment alongside them because it's something that um, does have high high page rank and search ranking. Um, it's something that can get them both national and international uh, uh, followings because it's, uh, it's a site that has uh, significant international uh, traffic as well. Next slide. Here's a physician profile. It's a, um, an, an example of what a medical partner or, for example, for me here, uh, a list of my uh, academic credentials, links to my web pages, links to be able to come and see me in the urgent care. Unfortunately, if you guys uh, get sick right now, you'll have to uh, wander over to the two blocks over to the urgent care and not be able to see me. Uh, I'm over maybe um, many, many thousands of <laughs> miles away over here in Singapore. And um, you'll have to see one of my colleagues, but I can vouch for every one of them. I trust everyone that works there, and I think you'd get great care. Um, and this is um, an example of the page of, that describes me at uh, MedHelp. It gives um, the, my education and my board certifications, my training. Uh, and on the left-hand side, you can see it um, on the live pages right now, it lists the forums that I participate in, the disaster preparedness and the urgent care forums, as well as my blog, uh, Dr. Geek MD. <laughs> and so you can take a look at that stuff. I've been blogging about my experience here in um, Phuket, uh, my culinary adventures and misadventures.